We will now apply loads to the model. For the syringe assembly, the load definition is a non-zero displacement value applied to the top face of the plunger and will have the following load history. Restrain the axial motion of the top face of the plunger in the first and second steps. Modify the motion to pull the plunger up by 15 millimeters in the third step. Before we proceed, confirm that the first step is the current step from the step selector. For ease of viewing, you can reposition the location of the step selector in the viewing area. From the load section of the action bar, select the applied translation tool. An applied translation prescribes motion in a single direction by a specified distance. Specify a name for the applied translation. Select the top face of the plunger as the support. Set the translation magnitude to 15 millimeters. Select translation Z as the degree of freedom in terms of the global axis system. Set the scale factor to zero. This ensures that in the current step, the top face of the plunger is constrained from moving along the specified translation direction. Click OK to complete the load definition. We will next modify the load definition to model the pull on the plunger in the third step. We will use the simulation manager to make the change to the load definition. Select the simulation manager tool from the fixed section of the action bar. The simulation manager provides a convenient display to view the model and scenario data. For example, it shows that the load definition on the plunger has been created in the first step and that it is propagated to the subsequent steps. In the simulation manager, right click in the cell corresponding to the required load definition and step. From the menu that appears, select edit. In the editor, change the scale factor to minus one. Click OK to complete the definition. 